first of all, uh, let people know you. Let's begin with letting people know you and know what you're doing and know your background back in Mexico to let them know who we having here. Of course, well, okay. um, hello everyone. My name is Wendy. I'm from Mexico. My city is called Aguascalientes. That means Almia Sogna. Mm, okay. <laughs> and well, um, and I'm a general practitioner, I'm a doctor, general oh, practitioner, okay. but also I'm a dance teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like to perform different styles of Arab dances. Mm -hmm. And my favorite, of course, is Iraqi dance. Mm, okay. How did you find Iraqi dance? Like, what the first thing that sparkled this passion inside you? Okay, uh, around 10 years ago, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. I found some videos of Iraqi dancing in YouTube. Mm -hmm. And like in old programs, TV programs of Iraq uh, TV. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt very connected with the music and dance. Mm -hmm. So I decided to start to investigate more and more. And I really felt in love with Iraqi dancing. Mm, I think that there's a lot of barriers, like the first barrier, the language barrier, that may be yes. really hard to find or search any uh, music or dancers. So how did you deal with this? Yes, of course, uh, a lot of them. Because uh, first of all, uh, 10 years ago, it was basically impossible to find any teacher that uh, could help me to learn. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, um, one year after I found these videos, mm -hmm. I found my first uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. I will say the name because mm -hmm. I'm proud of her. She's Asala Ibrahim mm -hmm. from Iraq. She's a Mitchell friend between us, by the way. Oh my <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah, I love Asala. Shout out to Asala. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and well, um, when I met her, I discovered the love of Iraqi dancing. Mm -hmm. And I always, I felt very connected with this style. Like, even I, I felt that I was Iraqi, oh. you know? <laughs> so um, probably the most difficult part was uh, finding a teacher. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the language, because uh, for that time, I didn't speak uh, Arabic. Mm -hmm. I'm learning, just yeah. learning. But for that time, it was very complicated to understand the lyrics or even to, to find the music, mm -hmm. because it's not easy as uh, finding, for example, Egyptian music. Yeah that you just uh, try to search it's something. Easier, yeah. Yes. Mm 